Hi, Dennis Ray here. You have so many passwords to remember, it's really hard to keep track of them. What you need is a database to safely store usernames and passwords for all the websites you use. KeePass is the best free open source program you can use to easily keep track of all your passwords. Then all you have to remember is one password to access your KeePass database. This is where to get and how to use KeePass. This is the KeePass website. Uh, you go down here, there's some information you can read about KeePass. And these are the versions that you can download, uh, 2.54 uh, or 1.41. I would uh, recommend either of those two. And uh, I would not recommend 2.53 uh, a few months ago, a hacker was trying to see if he can gain access to this version, 2.53, and he did it. Uh, however, the security breach was fixed with uh, the latest version, 2.54. So I would not recommend downloading 2.53. And uh, the same vulnerability does not affect 1.41. So either 2.54 or 1.41 are good versions to download. And to download them, you can go to this link and hit that. That will take you to the download page. And if you hit these links, you can read more about those versions. And when you hit the download link, that will take you to this page. These are the download links for the install versions for those two versions, two and one. And uh, there's also portable versions that you can download where they, do not, where they do not install on your computer. These are zip files. And then down below that, there are forks of KeePass. You can download those if you're so inclined. And if you're still not sure which version you'd like to try, either two or one, there's a site that will compare the two versions or that you can see the comparison between the two. Uh, one and two, and uh, two does have more features than one, but I've used both of them and both of them make a very nice database, basic database to keep your passwords in and uh, work very well. And if you're really want more information about which version you might want to use, you can go to this site and uh, read that and that might help you to decide which version you decide which to use. So I'll put links for these in the description below and you can check them out. I want you to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Because if you see me, I see you, and I know exactly where you live. Just kidding. My satellite can only tell me approximately where you live. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll be happy. You'll be happy. Everybody will be happy. Thank you. You've installed KeePass, or you've opened up the portable zip file. And when you open up KeePass, this is the main window, what it looks like. Uh, whether it's version 1 or 2. And the first step we want to do is to create a database. So we go to File, New, and uh, if you look at this little block here, it will tell you that uh, your database will be stored in a regular file. And when you hit OK, you can specify where you want the database to be located. And it's important that you remember where the database is stored and to make regular backups of your database. It's very important to make, that, uh, make backups of it. So, okay. And then database, we want to save that. And I'm going to just save it into the uh, KeePass file itself. And I'm using the portable edition, so it's going to be right in the portable uh, file itself. So save and then 
it's asking for a master password uh i'm gonna use thursday because today is thursday it's important to use a password that you can remember put it in twice okay it's a weak password but i'll use it for this example show expert options and then this key file provider and what this is uh, you can create a file that you keep separate from keypass which uh, you will need to open along with your master password to access your database and this isn't really needed and uh, i'm not going to use it so but you that's up to you if you want to use that or not but uh i'm gonna uncheck that and okay the specified master password is weak yes i know database name you can give it a name i'm gonna just say it is example You can put in a description if you want to. Uh, down here, default username for new entries. Uh, for instance, if you want to use your email address for a username for all your entries, you can do that. But uh, I normally don't use this because I find that for most of my uh, websites that I go to, the usernames that I use can be different. So I'll just hit OK. And then you can print up an emergency sheet that contains all important information for your database. And uh, I'll print this and then I can show you what it looks like afterward. And uh, put this on the desktop. save okay and then save your database this is what the emergency sheet looks like it uh, shows where your database is located and has this area where you can annotate where you keep your backups like in a cloud thumb drive CD or wherever I would recommend making more than one backup and keeping them updated and then here you can write in your master password that uh, you use to be able to access your database. Now I want to open up my database. I double click on the KeePass icon and get this window and type in my extremely weak password. And hit OK. In the example database, there are these two entries. And if I double click on the first one, I'll get this. And let's take a closer look at this. And this is the entry window. Uh, in this, we can make changes as we see fit. For instance, I can change the username. And then there's uh, passwords. Uh, password and repeat. Right now it's blocked out, but if we hit these three dots, we can see it. Um, it has password in there right now for, for the password, which we should never, ever, never use because that's the first word that a hacker will use to be able to get into your database. But we can change that. If we hit this, we can open up the password generator, which is a really nice feature that KeePass has. In this, uh, there are these tabs, settings, advanced, preview, which will show different passwords that it will make for you with the settings that it has right now. But in this, we can uh, change how many digits we want. Right now it's on eight with this default. Uh, we can make it 10, 12. 
that's good. And then we can make our selections here. We want uppercase letters, lowercase. Make your selections there too. Uh, there, uh, I think I'll select special characters also. Then we can hit OK. OK, we have our password there. And then we can hit this. And that puts the password into repeat also. Uh, quality, well, that's a poor quality password actually, uh, which means it's still not strong enough that a hacker could still get into your pass into your database. So if this were a strong password, this line would move over to where the color changes to green. And below that URL, you can put the website's address into there. Notes, you can put notes in there like uh, security questions and answers or anything else that's unique to the website. Expires, if the password expires, if and when, you can put the date and the time there. Or if you wanted to expire at any time, you can put that in there too. Okay. When you want to add an entry or a new entry, go to the fourth icon and click on that. That will make a new entry window. And then you fill in the information. And when you've done with that, hit the OK button. And don't forget to hit the Save button. And if you do forget to save it, uh, when you close out KeePass, it will ask you if you want to save it. To open a URL, uh, go to the entry window, copy the URL address, and go to your browser and paste it in your browser. Then you can copy the username and paste that into your browser and then copy the password, paste that into your browser. Another way of opening a URL and pasting the username and password is by going to the line, double clicking on the website address, and that will open up the website in your browser. Then going back to KeePass, go to the line, right click on it, copy username, and go to the website, paste it in, go back, right click, copy password, go to the browser, and paste it in. If you ever need to delete an entry, go to the entry line, right click, down to delete entry, hit that, and it will be deleted. In the entry window, uh, there's one feature I didn't show you earlier. You can add an icon to the title. If you hit the icon key there, and you have a listing of different icons that you can use. Uh, for instance, if you hit this world and then hit OK, and then it changes the key icon to a world icon on the entry. Then there are these groups where you can move entries into them, uh, making them separated by subject. Uh, you can just drag and drop them wherever you want. Or you can make your own groups too by going up to the menu, add a group. And those are the easy basics of working with KeePass. Of course, there are more advanced things you can do with it and just go nuts with all the different features that are available. That was KeePass, a great way to keep track of all your passwords. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Take care. See you. Bye.